really thankful to the board that they take the time to screen hundreds and hundreds of films once they're done screening those films, they do select those and reduce the pool down to, I think it was 130, 120, 134 films. Uh, so they reduce that pool dramatically. And then they categorize them by short films. They have high school short films. Uh, they have uh, artistic workshop films. And then they have a category for documentaries. And then full featured films. So out of those 134, they're all categorized. We're in one of the top five movies. So it's hard to imagine, really. So. Again, uh, this is a really unique film because it does include two different cultures, the hearing culture and the deaf culture, and how we can bridge those two together and work together. So it was fantastic to make this film with those two cultures and this mainstream film. I'm not going to tell you about the film. We can tell you a bit more about it afterwards. And when you do see the credits, please do stay. Um, because we actually, not only just Troy and myself, but some other people from the film will be back to do question and answer session. Oh, we already put glue on their seats before they came in, so they're stuck. I think, it, I think it's good. <laughs> time, we're very good friends. And uh, she asked me to be a part of the film, and then after I read the script, I immediately said yes and flew out to Los Angeles to be part of the production. Um, it was my first time working with deaf actors, and uh, I would have uh, an interpreter uh, help me understand when I was working with uh, a deaf performer. And everyone made me feel at ease right away, and uh, it was a wonderful learning experience for me. And uh, I hope to work with the actors and the crew again sometimes because everyone was so sweet and I, I definitely learned a lot. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And my very first film, it was very surreal just now to see my face on a screen for the first time. <laughs>